Hello guys. So, got another Trailmakers video for you here. Um, I decided to make the James Bond Lotus Elise, uh, Lotus Esprit. Um, I looked at the drawings and it has a cannon coming out of the roof and it has some um, harpoons on the front. Uh, there's an oil slick thing at the back. Uh, I haven't put that in because one, I don't have much space and two, you can't spit out oil in this game. Although you can't spit out smoke, so I might try and work that in the future. Um, but anyway, here's my Lotus uh, Esprit straight into it. So you can see it there all opened up. You can kind of see through it at the moment. There's a few bits. Uh, I'll go through it now and I'll show you what's in it. Um, it's a bit janky. It likes to spin on its own for some reason. Uh, also, it's huge. And my player kind of looks like James Bond now. Look. I've got a little monocle and everything. And a moustache. <laughs> So it's spinning there, but you got the lights at the front, think are pretty cool. You got indicators and the lights at the back when you brake. A little spoiler and you can kind of see the turbines there. And I've painted it kind of like the Lotus Esprit. So this is it here. When you indicate left or when you go left, it indicates. When you indicate right, it indicates right. Brake lights come on when you go backwards or brake. And... Um, that's just the accelerating part. I did have only the rear wheels driving because loads of speeds are rear wheel drive as far as I know. But uh, I had to do the four. Um, also, these tires are off-road tires because most of the places I was testing was off-road to go into the water. So I'll get rid of the tires and I will add in, you know, proper racing wheels, which is probably most like a Lotus Esprit, I suppose. So we'll chuck them in here like this. And now it's got race wheels. Uh, it's not spinning as much. Still spinning kind of slow. But that's that's it. Looks good at night. Um, here is the cannons. So firstly, we do the roof. So press LB. And the little roof, pop, uh, roof panel opens. And then I think RB is shoot. So, see a cannon goes up in the air there. It's probably going to land on us. If it does, it'll just respawn. Oh, yeah. Broke me. Let's see where else. Ah, there. Just for the absolute laws, I'll close the panels and then shoot. And it absolutely destroys the car. So, yeah. So, we'll respawn. And I'll show you the other ones at the front. So, these at the front that has harpoon guns. So... We'll have a look. If it stops spinning, get out. And then get back in. Hmm. We'll go this way. Maybe it won't spin as much. Oh, it is. But LB opens that panel and has four little rockets there at the front. And they all shoot at the same time. Do they? Yeah, they do. I had them in a sequence, but it wasn't really great. So that's that. Um, and now for underwater mode. Jeez, I forgot about the cannons. Yeah, underwater mode. So what I have is the wheels go in and turn up like the actual car itself. Uh, some fins come out. They steer it then. Uh, oh no, there's stability. They did steer at the start, but it was janky. Um, the periscope pumps up because that comes up in the film as well. And then the spoiler goes up and reveals the... Um, kind of side, what, what would they be called? Stability, stabilizers or whatever. And the turbines come out a little bit. So here we go, we're gonna transform. There. So you can see the fins came out. Let's try that again. Move this side. So wheels go up and in, fins come out. Up and in. Janky. The periscope comes up there. And the spoiler goes up. And reveals these two little fins that come out here. So that's it going back in. And that is it coming back out. So yeah, you can also open the hatches if you want as well, but you'll drown. So let's drive into the water. Let's see if we can get to the end of the runway first. Because this thing does not really steer that well. Although the faster you go, the better it seems to steer. But if I go into the dirt there, it's absolutely, it's going to fail. So, James, getting chased by the helicopter. Oh, no, what are we going to do? Oh, my God, we're going to die. No, no, no. I hope you can swim. That's what he says to your one. 
And then we fly off the edge, and in midair, we're going to press A. We're going to submarine mode. And boom, we are in the water, in a submarine. Uh, don't worry about that flap open there. That's, uh, yeah, that's supposed to happen. There's definitely no water coming in. But it kind of steers, kind of works as a submarine. It doesn't have any rotation. No, not rotation. It's called yaw, like lean angle, or whatever it's called. I don't know what I'm doing in my head. But uh, this is it. I think it's pretty cool. Took a good while to make. We'll shoot out here. There's a helicopter overhead, so we're after shooting that there. So yeah, um, it's fairly heavy. So if I stop steering, it will just sink to the ground. I don't have any buoyancy control on it. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll show you the internals of it now. Oh yeah, you can also see the old uh, body work is a bit bad. That is because I had to build the body around the suspension. So yeah, that's what that is. I did the best I could. Um, but better close the panels and now we are in just normal car mode but we can still go but you're gonna drown and it's pretty slow so when we went to summary mode it's well actually even slower same speed does do doesn't do anything for the arrow I had the fins working but they were moving the whole body work because of the way they are and um, I could put them on little hinges I suppose I don't know what happened that tire there Let's go back in, see if we can fix that tire. Nah, he's staying there. Ah, uh, maybe that's why my car is going to the left. Is there something blocking that specific wheel? Anyway, this is the build. So I'll take off the panels for you and you can have a look. Uh, I don't need all them off. I'll take off this, 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 this one. Um, the, the front is just kind of blocks, really. There's nothing really there. I'll show you the guns. Turbines. What's at the back? Take off these. Not much. So, if we look at underneath, you see I have two propellers there, two propellers there, and the little reg plate. Um, they come out with the piston there, which starts, I believe, at about 70%, is it? 50%. So it starts about there, so they only come out a little bit past the spoiler. Um, we've got the suspension there. Um, these are for the wheels, so what happens is... Oops, the daisies. So this one here, right. What happens is, when you press A, it goes up 90 degrees, and it's very slow to do that. Because I have these propellers, or the pistons, with a delay of 1, and they retract at A. So that's all they do, and it's a toggle as well, so you don't need to press them back out or anything like that. Uh, and then they auto reset. So yeah, if you want the pistons to work like that, just an A button, that's what you do. Um, what else is there? Uh, the little airplane fins, you can kind of see them in there, just have them, because it looks kind of cool. I have loads of propellers to uh, propel the car. Haha, <laughs> pun. Uh, because otherwise it's super slow and doesn't really move much. Um, in here I have this cannon. So that's when the flap opens, the cannon shoots. There's just the uh, hinges for the cannon. Uh, here I have a periscope. Well, that's not a periscope, that's a piston. But just to get at it, I have uh, this periscope. So this was kind of actually tricky because I wanted to start as low as possible. And to do that, I actually had to start at the very bottom of the car. So you can see that's the piston there. All right, so what this does is the piston is um starts down the bottom right which is fine um has this little pipe connected to it all right and then another pipe going this way so that allows the periscope to be right kind of right beside the piston um just thinking now i could have probably put that on the side no i need to mount it to the bottom that's why i didn't uh, oh yeah, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, there's um, sides here that you can connect to, and there's not on the other one, but I couldn't do that because I need to be at the very bottom. So yeah, the piston, or the propeller comes up, obviously this opens first, so if you look at the steering hinge, um, speed 50, angle 30, so it opens just enough to let the periscope out, and the piston, I think has a delay on it, does it? Yeah, delay of a second as well, so this opens first, then the propeller comes out. And I think it works relatively well. I have more propellers here. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, no, I thought that said LT and RT. 
it doesn't it's up and down yeah they're all the right orientation aren't they? yeah so they are to move up and down uh, that's my steering in the water or whatever you want to call it buoyancy control same crack with these wheels although they have um, a steering hinge that way as well to turn left and right I did have the steering hinge here originally but the whole body was torn and so I had to get rid of that um, and then the guns at the front so let me see if I can get it the guns oops the doopsies so let me see these are the four guns here I had these different at the start as well I had them coming out of the of the uh, car but I can't I can't remember why I got rid of them there was something to do with the front here I don't think I could put this on or something like that the front plate but uh, yeah that's it so this is my Lotus Esprit the James Bond one um, I'll upload it to the store let me see uh, get rid of all that get rid of the top as well start swimming we'll respawn now uh, I'll save it actually because I changed the wheels on it it's janky but um, yeah we will upload this to the store for you uh, let me see I need to what do you press again there's a little cog or something isn't there what's this no it's not that Safe blueprint, yeah, close. Oh, you go to this. And you go to my bills. This one here, and you press Y as far as not yet. Yeah, y. And yeah, James Bond, I'll call it the James. Oh, I won't call it the Jidget or whatever that means. James Bond. Lotus of spray, I suppose. And if you want to find it, it's in the store there. Um, not a bother. And I also have that Fast and Furious car that you can... Um, oh. It's the simple things, isn't it? James Bond, Lotus Esprit. Uh, don't need to describe it. And it is a car. Well, it's an animal, but it's a car. So, yeah. It's up there in the store if you want it. That's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more... Give it a like, subscribe, and throw a comment down. I'll read it and whatever you want me to do. Yeah, that's it. So, cheers. All the best.